Final Fantasy XI, The Adventures of Ken Chun. Hey guys, today on Final Fantasy XI, The Adventures of Ken Chun, I'm just going to go over a quick guide of Beastmaster. So first, we will start off with... Drive Abilities. Alright, so... Here is Beastmaster Job Abilities. Uh, either it's familiar, which is, you know, increases your pet uh, stats, all of them when you use them, and it gives them haste as well as um, increases the duration time of your pet that can stay out. It applies to charmed pets, but mostly we use them for jug pets. Um, Unleash. Unleash is awesome because Unleash allows you to spam pet TP moves, your pet moves, your ready moves, constantly without any recharge. So you can keep them spamming them over and over again and it won't take any of your charges and no recast. Awesome. And it lasts for 45 seconds. So if you're using a tiger, you can get out a lot of razor fangs. Or if you want to do skill chain, make your pet do its own skill chains with itself, it'll be awesome as well. Bestial loyalty. So beast or bestial loyalty. Um, this I call this the freebie jug pet uh, ability because it allows you to use a jug without consuming the jug. So you really you want to use this ability with. Um, like bubble, bu bubbly broth, Bows and Bertha. She's a high quality pet. She costs around 200k per jug. I don't want to be using 200k gill every time I call a pet. So I use this ability to, you know, call her for free. And there's other ones too. Normally you can tell they're the high quality ones because A, the white rim around the picture, or B, they cost 200 to 600k for one single jug. But they're really good. I recommend them. And. What else? Also, um, your your AF gloves, or you know, your relic gloves. I have my Anakuza gloves. They do work with bestial bestial loyalty, like they do with Call Beast. Okay. Oh, and bestial loyalty. You can, if, like, if you're doing like a battlefield, you can reset it in your mock house. So if you go back to your mock house and change your sub job, you will reset bestial loyalty. So that's a quick, easy way of resetting it instead of waiting 20 minutes. It has a 20 minute recast. For most fights, I normally do, if I, if I have a really hard fight, I'll use bestial loyalty in the area, <laughs> wait 20 minutes, and then that way, once my best, my first bestial loyalty pet dies, I can do call beast, call you know, call a tiger or whatever, an expensive jug. And if that dies, I can call Bertha again using bestial loyalty. Then if she dies, I can call my tiger again. So I can call multiple pets more than normal. So that's a really good tactic too. Charm, charm, obsolete. Their charm is no more. That. They made it, uh, during when uh, Ebacy first came out, they made Charm obsolete. <laughs> you, you can apply it to some areas, like in Seekers of Adeline, but the monsters there, it's better just have a joke pet. <laughs> Gage, useless. Don't even worry about it. Tame, you know, you can use that to basically, you know, use it on the monsters you want to charm to make it more acceptable. The charm, but really not obsolete. Unless you got aggro by a monster and you try to charm it and then you tame it. Uh, if you tame it and make it unaggressive, but I don't, you don't use it. Reward. Reward is a lifesaver. You use it all the time. You have a reward set, which I myself have to work on my reward set because. I've been slacking on my reward set, doing my augments for my skirmish equipment. So monster jack coat and 
uh, monster gators can augment them to do uh, heal for more. And you use all day. I don't have any pet food. <laughs> well, you use pet food theta and stuff. What you can get from the flower shop in Upper Juno near the exit to Batia Downs that has a dancer dancing out in front of it. You can get from an NPC there, an elven NPC. I think, it's called, I think she's called the Rays or whatever. But, uh, yeah, you can get them there. But they doesn't also joke pets, the tiger one especially. Call beast, you know, your gloves. Work with call beast. Make sure your gloves have enhances beast affinity because that'll call them up to your level, so they're even matched to you. Because if you don't, even if you have beast affinity in your merit points. If you have uh, beast defending your mirror points maxed out, they can still uh, spawn one level below you or two. So yeah, get those gloves to help spawn your beast at 119 or whatever level you are. Your pet. All right, Feral How it has its applications, especially in Dynamis for proccing, you know, doing trigger on monsters for job abilities. But other than that, when you're trying to do in-game content, it doesn't work very well. And that's all the job abilities for Beastmaster. And I'm some of dancer, that's what the rest are for. Alright. So next up would be sub jobs. Alright, for sub jobs. Alright. I use Dancer. Dancer is pretty applicable. Um, you can use it for many things, especially for your waltz. Also, guys, it's a, I don't know if it's a bug or a Square Enix you know, implemented it, but curing waltz can now cure pets and automations. So that's really neat and useful, especially if you've got spare TP. So, Dancer is really good, and also you get a skill chain bonus with the traits too. Like, uh, what is it? Yeah, skill chain bonus. So if you want to do self skill chains with your pet, your uh, skill chain damage will be much greater. And plus your dual wield. That's why I like Dancer, because you can dual wield your powerful main hand, and then you can dual wield Charmer's Merlin, which makes your pet charges uh, recharge faster. So, and then there's Ninja. Ninja is good for shadows. Now that the range for ready, the ready range now is about maybe five yard, five, uh, five yams, the seven yams from your pet. You type in this now in your macros so you'll target your pet when you're doing ready moves and that helps the ninja helps especially you're gonna be in range with you know aoe's area of attacks or area of effects and you're gonna get hit so them shadows if it's a if it's a physical uh aoe your shadows hopefully will absorb the damage and that's really useful because I've gotten smacked many times, and shadows have saved me many times. So that's why I like ninja. So if I'm doing like in, you know, really hard in-game content, I normally go uh, subbing ninja because those shadows can save my life compared to death, uh, subbing dancer. Because most times I'm gonna be using Shiromuchi, which increases my pet accuracy by a hundred plus. And my accuracy only like 60, which I'll probably miss a lot anyways, unless I have an accuracy set. But, yeah, I normally just go ninja, so I don't, you know, you know, I won't be hit by attacks. 
Then there's Rune. Alright. Rune is pretty good if you fight against opponents who do area of attack and magical damage. Because you can use Rune to uh, lessen the magical damage by using um, the, the equivalent Rune, you know, that's you know, for the affinity, uh, element affinity to lessen the damage. But I, have, I don't have that much experience using Rune, but I've heard it was good fighting certain battlefields that does elemental damage. Alright. So next up would be armor. All right, Ken, what armor do you wear? All right, my normal set is I use the spare helm. It has that, well, it has, you know, it benefits me as well, but also has that pet accuracy plus 20 and also attack plus 20. And you can augment it to give you accuracy plus 10. So you, a total of all the helm gives accuracy plus 30 pet vitality plus seven and damage taken minus three percent that helps out when your pet is tanking after a surcoat well this right here this is my pet attack and you know attack and accuracy set which I have you know damage taken minus two percent and accuracy was 24 on my surcoat I gotta get these up to level 119 because these give you TP bonus for your ready moves and the more TP you have for your pets, the better your, you know, moves are gonna do damage. So that's a plus right there. Um, I use uh, d these tacits, Desilair, Desotour tacits, for reducing my charge. Um, basically, if you have your merit. All right. Once you get to 100 job points, it reduces your charges by 5 seconds. And then you have merit abilities, a merit ability, which, um, reduces, uh, your recast by 5 seconds as well. And then, you have your axe that reduces five seconds in these pants to a total of we have to a total of 20 seconds so basically your charges each take 10 seconds that's awesome if you have pets that do one charge and did a lot of damage or if you have pets who have multiple charges moves that does really good you can get to them faster use them faster um and then i have my boots that has attack plus 17 for pet and damage taken minus four percent double attack all right for accuracy and attack, you want on you know, on the acro set. You want to do snow orbs for accuracy and attack, or magic attack or magic accuracy. And for damage taken, you want to use dusk orbs. And then for double attack and everything like that, you want to use leaf orbs. And you get those from your, you know, you get them from Alluvian Skirmish, which is like a version two of skirmishes. And you get those by using the uh, Udemon blade or whatever. I do Sash. Sash normally drops orbs, and doing a faithful, uh, faithful head, and faithful body, and faithful boots in the auction house. You can find them underneath. I think Miscellaneous Two. These right here, basically. Let's see. This is in my inventory. Ah, right, right. This is the uh, Faithful's legs. And yeah, you get the idea. But basically, Rolla is pretty good for a uh, Rolla is pretty good for Beastmaster. Cause lot, here's the thing that a lot of people don't know about Luvian skirmishes. Skirmishes. Rala, if you use a uh, Udemon sash, a Rala head, and the two faithful pieces of body, if you don't, there's this Indium that's a butterfly and it flies around. If you don't kill it, your pets do like a like a 10 second terror effect that's applied to your ready moves, even to the mega boss of each floor. It tears them for 10 seconds each time you use a ready move. 
And if you have a pet that does a move every 10 seconds, since the recast is 10 seconds, you basically can almost terror lock them. And that's awesome because they can't retaliate. And they hit hard too, you know. Especially the one who casts Meteor. So yes, check that out. It's pretty awesome. Also, that's my Axion attack set. But like this right here, you can AoE Mana Burn, you know, uh, Magic Burn monsters down. Which, this is my Magic Accuracy set. Let's see. I get... Forgive my closet. I have to get everything sorted out. <laughs> Aha. Aha. Alright. You... Macros. Match attack bonus set. I don't use gear swap or anything like that, so... All right. Switch this out. I'm gonna be sacrificing my recast, but that's fine. Cause your goal is to, be, normally I do it in trains. So it normally takes two shots really to kill a train. I have me another Kumba Karna. <laughs> this one is augmented with TP bonus plus eight, well, 18. 180, which is 18, and also this one was augmented with magic attack bonus plus 12. You get those by using snow orbs. I'm thinking about maybe changing that attack plus 17. I think I'm gonna try to get accuracy because. I mean, I need to make me a full accuracy set for in-game content for my pet. I did some sinister rain the other day, and on the third wave, my accuracy was a little slacking. But yes, uh, magic attack bonus is really good. Magic uh, accuracy 21 on the helm and on the body. You want accuracy. Well, you want you want a balance of it, but. Magic accuracy with uh, pet using magic moves, the monsters, especially high level ones, resist them at certain intervals. I can't remember what it was, but I think it's like one third and then a half and then full or whatever, something like that. And if you don't have enough magic accuracies, most of the time your your magic moves only gonna do one third. So I have a magic accuracy set, well mostly, and then I put I have this right here. Then that right there, that right there, and then I have the magic attack bonus, then my new Kumi uh, gloves, but I'm going to do is a 119, so 60 TP bonus, and then I have my Kumba Karma axe, <laughs> and then I use a, well, it's called a Great Daifuku, and they give you like your pet magic attack bonus plus 15 or 14, and then, um, If I notice my pet moves aren't doing as much, instead of using the uh, Grape Daifuku, I use the Rolling Berry Daifuku, which. Oh, here it is. Gives your pet, I think, like magic, magic accuracy plus 60, I think. So, yes. That helps out a lot, too. And I'm aiming for other pieces of equipment, but no. In due time. Um. Oh, for my accuracy set, I have my pastoralist mantle as well, augmented with accuracy plus 12, damage taken minus 3%. I'm aiming to get higher accuracy on that. But yet, yeah, that's my equipment. And also, for reward, you want to get your reforged monster jack coat. No, your 100, level 119. That's, you know. That's a must. I need to do that too, actually. I've been putting it off, so I gotta do that as well. It makes your rewards more beefy. I've seen pet rewards go up to like 2,700, 3,000 or whatever. Dealing pets with the rewards, so that is a must. Then you can do it with your body reforged and your feet reforged as well. Um, but yes. 
Let's see. That's it for... Now there's a gear swap. If you use gear swap, there's a uh, Lua, which allows you... Well, you can do it with uh, sets as well. Doing your um, equip set thing that they implemented a while back where you do this and you just do your sets. But I'm not... I haven't used it yet. I plan on to. But um, you can do that or with your Lua, gear swap Lua or whatever. You can make it where you do... You have on your... You know your recast axe and your pants and then it switches out really fast mid cast to like this right here which makes your pet moves more powerful I'll uh, post a link down to um, there's this guide on Final Fantasy 11 auction house .com called uh, it's basically Falkirk's guide and he has a really good guide about that so I'll post that in my link below if you have any questions about that or you want to read up about that I'll post that down there so you know you can go to that link and check out all the stuff that Falkirk and other Beastmasters posted as well. Um, Alright, so we're going on to the next thing. 